Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation for integers. In other words, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation. Diophantine equations are fun. You can go out and check out the playlist. I made a playlist. I also made a lecture video on Diophantine equations. You can also check that out here. So let's get started. How do we solve Diophantine equations? There is a ton of different methods. You can definitely check out the video and find out. And there's a lot of material you know, liter literature on Diophantine equations, lots of good books. I can also recommend some. Anyways, those are fun to solve. But there isn't a single method that will solve all Diophantine equations. That would be really nice, but it doesn't exist. For, uh, for this equation, though, we have a simple method. m squared minus n squared is called a difference of two squares. And it can be factored as m plus n times m minus n. In general, this is a formula for factoring difference of two squares. And then set it equal to 101. So if an equation is factorable, that's good. You can definitely factor it and solve it. If an equation is not factorable, but you can use modular arithmetic, go ahead and use it. Or sometimes you use other techniques. Anyways, I talked about all of those in the lecture video. You can check it out. So how do we solve this problem since it's factorable? Now we do know that m plus n and m minus n are integers. By the way, did I tell you we're going to be looking for integer solutions? So if m and n are integers, then their sum and their difference is also or are also integers. So we're talking about the product of two inter integers being 101. What is 101? It's not a class like math 101 or physics 101. It's just a number. But 101 is a special number. Why? Because it only has two divisors. 1 and 101. What are those numbers called? Prime. If you said prime, you got it right. So 101 is a prime number. Therefore, it can only be factored in certain ways. Since we're looking for integers, positive and negative, we're going to consider four different cases. So those are the cases. m plus n can be 101, and m minus n can be 1 m plus n can be 1, and m minus n can be 101. m plus n, I should probably leave some room there. Okay. m plus n can be negative 101, and m minus n can be negative 1, because their product is still 101. Or m plus n can be negative 1, and m minus n can be negative 101. So we have four cases. Let's go ahead and solve each one. So there are like four systems we have to solve, but they're all solved the same way. Easy. You're just going to add the equations. In other words, we can use elimination. n cancels out. We end up with 2m equals 102, which implies m equals 51. Since their difference is 1, n must be 50. So 51 and 50 satisfy this equation. In other words, 51 comma 50 is a solution. And we can go ahead and write it down at the end. Here, we're going to do the same thing, add these up, and cancels out. We get the same thing, 2m equals 102, but m equals 51. But when you plug in m equals 51, you don't get the same value for n, you get negative 50. Because this time, their sum has to be 1, not their difference. Make sense? Okay, great. So now, in this equation, or in this system, we're going to do the exact same thing, 2m equals negative 102 m equals negative 51 and if you plug in negative 51 n needs to be negative 50 so those are going to be the m and n values and then here we do the same thing we get 2m equals negative 102 again m value does not change but the n value will be the opposite because if you think about it n will be 50 and those are going to be all the solutions to this equation from an equation, we got a system basically. Let's go ahead and write down all the solutions as ordered pairs. So we got 51 comma 50, 51 comma negative 50. You could also write it with the plus minus sign if you want to save space. Negative 1 comma negative 50 and negative 51 comma 50. And those are going to give you all the solutions. Let me move this a little bit to the left so it doesn't cut off. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. I think this time it's tomorrow. 
Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.